Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. And we are in Luke chapter 21, today verses 25 through 28. Let's read it. Jesus is talking about some of the signs of the end, and it's quite interesting. And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear, and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. All right, now again, we can't do a hour-long exposition in, in a, a three-minute short like this. But I want you to notice, starting, let's, let's go backwards, right? When you see these things begin to happen, Jesus says, he warns his listeners, when you see it begin to happen, look up, lift up your heads, your redemption, your buying back, the end, when, when Jesus comes literally, visibly, physically, personally, audibly, that time is, is going to, there's going to come a time when that time is imminent. It's, it's, it's very close. And Jesus says, when you get to that time, don't lose your mind. Be, look up, look up, be positive. Because although there's going to be a, 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 an enormous mayhem at that time, it, Jesus is coming to deliver his people. He's coming to help us and bring us back and sort it out. So friend, uh, we can lift up our heads. Our buying back draws near. Uh, notice that he's going to come with, in the cloud with power and great glory. Jesus will return, verse 27, with his angels in flaming fire, uh, Second Thessalonians tells us. Uh, some pretty interesting business going on there. Now look at verse 26. Men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. Uh, there are going to be, you know, intense times. And if you look around yourself, uh, when, 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 when? Um, today. <laughs> if you look around today, uh, are people all just, hey, everything's going well. Got my 401k in order. Everything's good. The world economy is wonderful. No, things aren't really quite that way, are they? People today are very nervous. There are giant changes happening around the world and wars and rumors of wars, all these things. Of course, some of these things are not new, but we certainly are in a time right now in the 2020s where we see uh, crazy stuff happening and, and maybe some pretty poor governance. And, uh, but you know what? Jesus foretold that these kind of things would be coming along. It talks about signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and we don't have time to really plow into that. There have been certain times in history where people uh, believed we've seen some of these different signs. Uh, but you know what? Each generation uh, that Jesus could have come, he's waiting for a certain thing, I think, to, to happy men's hearts, to be a certain group of people to get solid with him, and he'll finish his demonstrations that he's making on the world. So I think some of those signs are repeating some signs of the Bible, obviously, totally one-timers, no no repeat. Jesus dies on the cross once, right? Uh, time setting, that doesn't happen. It, these prophetic time periods are just one time. But some of these signs are kind of general, and I think some of those can recur in different generations, depending on whether people are ready to receive Jesus. Question, are you and I ready to receive Jesus? Let's pray that our hearts will be ready. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the question today isn't whether Jesus is going to come, whether judgment is going to come. The question isn't whether the world is, is going to get more wicked. The question is, where will be found those who have faith in Jesus? So, Lord, we pray that you will help us. You'll strengthen our hearts, give us courage, help us to be people who are going straight on to the kingdom, Lord. May you, you use us for your purposes in these closing hours of the scenes of planet Earth. Help our hearts to be right, Lord, and may we trust in you in the intense times that are percolating and coming up around us. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. I am so glad that Jesus is coming, and I have a great hope in that. I'm sure you do as well. May you be blessed today by him, by Jesus, by your and my great King.